Hello again everybody, this is Lowe's Dead and I have another commentated replay for you guys. Today you got Come With Me, he's going to be playing on the Bounty Hunter uh, on his team as well. He's got Fat Chocobo on Ancient Apparition, Nature's Prophet from Frog... Frag? Fraga, that's his name. Uh, Picky, Peaky, Pikey, Picky is going to be playing uh, Omni Knight. And uh, who am I missing here? We got Sand King uh, is Dwayne Johnson. I'm pretty sure there are some people he knows, uh, but I couldn't identify them. So uh, I'll just assume they're sort of pubs. Um, on the dire side, we got Pugna. We got a Slardar. And a Zeus is going to be taking the mid... No, Invoker should be taking the mid lane. wonder what they're going to do there. Uh, and Shadow Demon will be taking the bottom lane. Uh, I wonder what they're going to decide to do. Maus is not a U.S. team. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Maus is not U.S. But that's okay. Uh, so it looks like we're going to have Bounty Hunter. He's going to be mid lane and he's going to be facing. I guess Invoker gave up. Uh, Invoker is not going to be taking the mid lane. So he's not going to get that early, uh, those early levels that he usually gets. That's a little bit of a problem, uh, to be honest. I don't know what they're going to do about that. Uh, he is now losing on an experience, but I guess uh, Shadow Demon has it. And a pause comes out really early. And he's disconnecting because I guess he has lag. Um, so let's see. We got top lane. We got Pugna and Slardar versus Omni Knight. He is Omni Knight and Ancient Apparition. So... That's a pretty good lane. I mean, they're both good lane. Each hero here is good, good in lane. Um, pretty well matched. Ancient Apparition is able to deal a lot of slow and damage. Uh, Slardar is pretty good for getting. Maybe he might get like a bash off, but really his uh, his Slithery Crush is pretty good, and he's got like this really fast attack animation that I really like to. Uh, I really like to get less clicks with, less hits with. And. Well, Omni Knight's just irritating. <laughs> I've never not been irritated playing against an Omni Knight. Uh, Zeus mid lane is going to be a formidable opponent for Bounty Hunter because he is going to have to try to run in and get last hits while Zeus is going to be able to use his Arc Lightning and Lightning Bolt and just all of his harass to uh, stop Come With Me from getting the farm that he wants to get. Um, let's see how We'll see how that works out. I'm kind of interested to see you know exactly how he goes about this because it could go either way really you know i i don't know i, I see how he tries to best zeus see how good a player he is uh nature's prophet is going to be in the jungle that's uh, not much to say about that invoker plus shadow demon yeah as i said uh shadow demon and invoker he's not going to get the li the early levels he really needs but um Shadow Demon is really good at, be at laning as well. He, um, his Shadow Poison is able to deal a good amount of damage as well as keep the keep a harass on the uh, opponent, laning opponent. And when he's ready, disruption. The combo is a disruption, and then you cast Soul Catcher to uh, get some bonus damage. It's a pretty wide radius, um, and then as when you have level 6, you cast uh, Demonic Purge, which slows him down quite considerably. And from the damage that's going to come out from the two uh, disruptions, that will uh, that will cause uh, that will cause a lot of damage. Usually, here will go down pretty well. I were th who are they waiting for? I can't remember. He paused. He disconnected. He reconnected. Ah, Pugna left. So hopefully Pugna will come back. Or else we're gonna be sitting here for a while. Anywho, not really a whole lot to say. Not quite practiced in the <laughs> in the inner workings of uh, what the hell to talk about when there's a pause, like before any action has happened. Here he goes. He's now back, and it looks like what do we got for builds? Anything interesting? Nothing too notable. Looks like uh, Sand King's gonna be going for dual bracers. Everyone else is Zeus gonna try to get an early bottle? Zeus already has a bottle. 
How the hell did he get that much? Oh, he must have. He must have uh, randomed to get that much bot. That that's gonna be a big problem for bounty hunter, and he's gonna push through this lane. He has one last hit, so he hasn't really been focusing on the last hits too well. Um, just kind of worried about. Maybe he's just like intimidated by the fact that it's come with me, and he's just trying to push him out or something like that. But that's the exact wrong thing that you want to do. That's that's the opposite that you want to do. He missed come with me, missing a last hit there. Uh, we'll forgive him though. He missed it by like a couple HP, and yeah, Zeus, he's he's still four last hits versus five last hits, so he's doing all right. Um, but he's been pushing a lot. And I, I wouldn't suggest doing that usually. Unless he just really wants to push, uh, take down the tower really fast. But we'll see how it goes. He's going to keep casting that arc lightning on Come With Me. Come With Me now has a bottle. Um, used up all of his tangos already. And he is now able to get some last hit farm. And he picks up, did he pick up a rune? No, he didn't pick up the rune. The rune is already picked up by someone. I missed that one. What action do we got going on down here? Dwayne Johnson is now up pretty far for having himself a uh, solo lane. They are probably going to wait him out on that one. And now they are behind him. So he, yeah, he's just going to go into the jungle. Uh, I saw that one coming. But now they did too. And it looks like it's going to be the death of him. Uh, probably. Cold, cold Snap is not up. But he's going to try to get a Sun Strike. He missed... The opportunity for one and he's gonna walk right into it just barely barely misses and sand king is safe pops off a salve and he'll be back to full health before you know it and zeus is gonna pick up the regen rune come with me has one charge left on his bottle uh the next rune in about a minute and a half is gonna come up and it looks like sand king is again in a little bit of trouble here uh, Shadow Demons, probably, they're probably going to wait him out again and then go on him. Uh, he doesn't have his creep wave with him, so he can't really do anything about that. He has a Burrow Strike, so he has a little bit of an escape. Let's see what happens. Here he is. And Invoker does not cast the Cold Snap because he has no Cold Snap. He's going with Exhort build. Increasing his damage. This he's going to try to do farming as much as he can. Yeah, all he's got is sun. Only the only ability he can cast is sun strike. Top lane here, as I said, is pretty even. I think. Oh, looks like come with me was finished off by Zeus, and I missed that. So that as I was as I was worried, uh, that lane is going to be difficult for him. Yeah, I moved myself around a little bit. All right, there we go. Been sitting in this chair too long and my back hurts, but can't do anything about that. Anyways, Dwayne Johnson again having to having to hide himself in his sandstorm. Uh, he has the benefit of the tower this time, but definitely a, uh, absolutely a hard lane for him. He needs a, he's got a salve coming back. Come with me, not too happy about losing that one. Trying to go for the double damage rune. It looks like he's going to get it, but oh, tons of damage coming out from. From Zeus, now he's gonna deal. Uh, he's gonna try to take some right clicks. Nature's Prophet comes in, which is what needed to happen. And a couple more clicks, and he should be down if he can get off a Shrooken. Uh, one second. There we go. Nature's Prophet takes him out. Unfortunately, nothing the bounty hunter could do when the Zeus was stuck inside the sprouts. Nothing he could do about that one. So I'm sure he wasn't happy about being uh, screwed over <laughs> by Zeus, so called in his buddy over the nat the Natty P, the Nature's Prophet, and they finished him off. Nature's Prophet back to the jungle. Should probably try to use my keys. Yeah, Let's work on that. Yeah, we'll see how this works. All right, Dwayne Johnson not doing too bad. Hasn't died yet, I don't think. Nope, no deaths for him. Definitely a hard lane though. Shadow Demon catches you out at all. Um, 
he can just deal a ton of damage to you and hold you. He, that disruption holds you for a little while so that the other team can position themselves pretty well. And Zeus doesn't know where Mouse is. He, uh, sorry, come with me is. And they're going to... He puts track off onto him. Shrug and toss uh, to send him back. And now Mouse comes in here, tries to get the uh, last hits, as many last hits as he can. And it looks like Zeus, uh, they're both even in terms of last hits. He's going to come in for some more harassment. And it looks like he's, he's got track on him. So he's looking for it, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to go for it. Zeus has an inkling that he doesn't know where Bounty Hunter is. Now he's got a haste rune, and now Zeus is in trouble. But a lot of damage coming out, not enough. Come with me, takes him out. Oh, missed something top lane? No, did I, no, I didn't miss anything top lane. Um, let's see what the, what the what's their farm like. We got 24 and 3. So it looks like they're giving Omni uh, everything. And we got 26 versus 5. So, yeah, basically even there as well. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It looks like... Uh, Come with me is pushing in. Uh, that Zeus is not <laughs> Zeus is not shy about using his ultimate. I think that was twice, and he used it before he died. I actually don't know what the cooldown is on that. No, I couldn't have used it twice by then. Must have been something else. Ah, yeah, that's what it was. His lightning bolt that he hit. Come with me with first. Um, now come with me needs to back off. It looks like. There are no runes for him. He's going to have to head all the way back to base to fix this one. Probably going to TP back in. Um, pick up, but uh, I don't know what he's going to go for. Mid lane bounty hunter. Picks up a TP scroll. Picks himself up phase boots. He's going to be uh, looking for the tracking ganks. And now they have a tri lane up top. It looks like Come With Me wants to make this gank. Yeah, he's hanging out by the tower. And first initiation. Almost there. No, not there. Not going to go yet. It looks like he's going to. Not going to do. There we go. Initiation on Slardar. Track sets down onto him. Uh, we got some nukes coming out. Um, now they're saved from the tower by uh, Omni Knight. And so, oh, Shrukentoss almost finishes him off. He needs one more right click. One more right click. One more. One more. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh, that sucks. He's not going to be able to get that last hit. Is he? He really wants this. Oh, man. Nature's Prophet. That's not your base. That is not. Oh, okay, uh, good luck. That was sad panda. You really wanted that kill. There we go. He's got a TP scroll. Gets out of there. Nature's Prophet. Uh, his TP is not up yet. He has a TP scroll. Should use it. Tried to use it right there, but got it canceled out. And now he is going to be in trouble. Finished off. Na oh, come with me. Is getting tons of damage taken in the middle lane. And he has to back off as well. That Zeus is just too powerful for him to be able to handle. He has a lot of burst damage. Uh, able to stop him in his tracks, basically. And Ancient Apparition. So I'm hang, hanging around over here. Uh, Invoker is now solo. Looks like Shadow Demon is roaming. Where is Shadow Demon at this point? Shadow Demon is back at base. So he's scouting out with his with his uh, illusions. This top tower is looking like it needs to be defended, and Omni Knight is there to uh, heed the call, and he is able to defend it. Not much problem there. Come with me, looking for some kind of gank. Nope, sorry, looking for the rune, I guess. No, he should have seen the rune. I don't know where he was going. All right, so Zeus's uh, illusion, one left, is going in. Can't find, uh, can't find Bounty Hunter. And he's gonna return to the mid lane. 
Now, Bounty Hunter knows where he is, smoking himself up. Shadow walking himself up. And he needs an initiation here with Omni Knight. I uh, don't think he can take him out just by himself. Looks like he's going to back off and get some right clicks. That is finished. That 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 creep is finished. And that one is too. All right, we got a tri lane coming starting up here on bottom lane. And it looks like it's going to be a lone ancient apparition to uh deal with it. Oh, no, nope, we got Zeus. He's just roaming around. He's trying to find some kind of kill. Uh as well, just like uh just like Bounty Hunter is Bounty Hunter find himself a partner in Omni Knight. He's got a friend in Omni Knight. <laughs> and who doesn't? Uh, this top lane, though, has nothing. No one is there. Here we go. Who's coming in? We got Sand King is coming in to defend it. And the bottom tower goes down. Ancient Apparition can't do a whole lot. Gets taken out. I, I didn't think he was going to be able to get out of that one. And here we go. We got Nature's Prophet coming in. Sprouting up Zeus. Bounty Hunter is now here. Track is on him. He needs one more click. And there he goes down. And now it looks like he's going to find Shadow Demon. No, they're just going to pass each other. He's not going to find him. Um, he's going to pick up a haste room, probably. There we go. And hasn't set it off yet. Doesn't need to. Uh, he's going to go back mid lane. He's going to find two heroes, though. I don't know if that's what he wants. Looks like Nature's Prophet is here, too. So they need probably one more to finish off. Oh, here we go. And we do have Omni Knight here. So if they can find him, they will make a gank. Should have they definitely have the advantage. Um, but now evening it up, who do we got coming in? We got Zeus back in action. The problem that they've been dealing with the whole time. And it looks like and he's gonna track uh, Slardar. Slardar, good pick against about against Bounty Hunter because he's able to use that amplified damage, which gives true sight. And here we go. We got four heroes mid lane versus three heroes mid lane. They're going to have to disperse. They can't really do a whole lot against uh, this kind of push. But it looks like they're not going to... They still haven't made the engagement yet. Let's see. Tan King is level 8, so he can get his epicenter. And that will be devastating. Um, as it always is. Zeus is hanging out. I thought he was teleporting somewhere. Uh, we got top lane is with Invoker. Invoker getting the farm up that he needs. Um... What build is he going? He's going Exor, Quas, so now he has his Cold Snap available. He's got some Forge Spirit, Sun Strikes available to him. What else do we got? I haven't memorized all of his junk yet. You got the Forge Spirit, Ice Wall, Ghost Walk, Cold Snap, and Forge Spirit, as well as Sun Strike, so. And it looks like they're going to catch him out while I'm talking about it. Nature's Prophet plus come with me. And he's going to deal a lot of damage right clicking him down. Uh, deal That uh, ward dealing a lot of damage to come with me. And Nature's Prophet goes down to Shadow Demon. Pugna actually. Shadow Demon deals a lot of damage to him though. And now they're going to find themselves Sand King. Who came out of Invis. I... Probably had amplified damage on him. Oh, come with me is back now. He takes out Ursa. Not Ursa. Slardar. And now they still have 2v1 and Ancient Apparition needs to get out of there. Ooh. Yeah. Catches him catches himself uh <laughs> catches himself Shadow Demon, but goes down to Pugna. And Ancient Apparition it can't fight this. Has to go back. And Zeus knows it. He sees him. He wants to get some kind of thing off. Uh, his ultimate is not there, so he can't, you know, make that final kill steal. Pugna takes out the tower. And bottom lane, we got Invoker here trying to defend this tower. Uh, Omni Knight trying to push in, but unable to do so. And we got Nature's Prophet. Here he is. Taking up some farm. Needs all the farm he can get. Because he's nature's prophet. And a Midas. Alright. We got Zeus in middle lane. He's back. It's 
far as team fight goes, it looks like it's just going to be a ganking squad. It looks like Come With Me is just going to try to be finding out who to gank. Nature's Prophet's going to be coming in to finish off the gank. Um, when they need, I don't know if they're going to try to engage in full team fights because they, I mean, Invoker plus Zeus plus Pugna, that's a lot of potential AoE damage um, and a good amount of single target damage um, that they will be have a hard time defending and fighting against. So I haven't seen them try to engage like a full fight, just try to take out the ganks whenever they can. So we'll see how that goes and if that if I'm right. Hope I'm right. I like being right. And Invoker is gonna come in from the side here. They know where Sand King is at least. I don't know if they've seen now they know that uh Omni Knight is there, but that ultimate slowing slowing down Sand King, not enough Burrow Strike dealing a lot of damage, and now Omni Knight goes down. Sort of missed who finished that one off. But uh, Invoker took out Omni Knight and now finished and now Ancient Apparition uh finishes off Pugna. Now they're going to have this mid tower. Yeah, as I was saying, their team fight is pretty good. It's it's a lot of it's definitely a big problem. Even if you go in with Sand King and pull off his epicenter, um, you still have to contend with all of the power that they have. Um, so he'll need he'll need he'll need to uh, be clever with his with his initiation there and make sure that the team is together when he uses it. Invoker using his forward spirit to help him out in the jungle. His farm is pretty good. Looks like he's going to go orchids. He'll have that shortly. And that'll be great for... That'll be a, another problem for Slar, uh, Sand King. Um, that silence is going to cause him a lot of issues. If he can... He'll need... He'll definitely have to set off his um, epicenter outside of range of Invoker. And the silence should be able to stop... Uh, depending on what they want to do, Silence should be able to stop Bounty Hunter as well from getting uh, off his Shadow Walk. Unlike Ricky, um, Bounty Hunter can't actually make uh, can't actually go invisible while he is silent. Ricky's ultimate is passive versus uh, Ricky's Invis, sorry, which is his ultimate, um, is a passive. Which is different from the active ability of... Come with me. So, Ancient Apparition Blast coming in, missing, not hitting anyone. Um, and looks like Come With Me just going to sit back, try to farm himself up. Uh, he's getting a... Definitely pulling off a uh, Battle Fury. He's just going to try to farm himself up as much as he can. We have a team fight here up top lane. And Nature's Prophet is... Ooh, tons of damage coming out from... Uh, from Invoker, but a stun coming out from Sand King is able to deal it off, and that epicenter, epicenter is going to be a huge problem for them. That was a nice, uh, that was a nice initiation right there. But uh, Zeus is invisible. I don't know if he's going to try to. Yeah, he's going to come out of invis right here while Pugna is there, and tons of damage uh, coming out, finishing off Sand King. All, Pugna's ultimate set off uh, wasn't able to finish him off. They, they're going to try to find themselves fat apparition, but. Uh, fat Shogobo, but uh, he teleports himself out. You know, nature's uh, nature's prophet is back. Bang bang. Bounty hunter continuing his farm fest. He has 83 last hits. Gold graph. What does the gold graph look like in favor of the dire? Um, probably due to the team fight, the XP graph in favor of the Radiant, though, uh, which I guess they've just been farming a little bit better, getting a little better uh, experience, and I would say that the extra gold is probably due to the towers. Actually, it's definitely due to the towers. Now the ganking is going to be able to come out from Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter is level 15, um, so he's just going to be able to take anyone out with this combination easily he does have his battle fury and let me see again let me see what this this is again so one so they have three towers but they only have a advantage of uh, 15k 
And here we go. We got um, top lane. They're going to be setting off a push. Come with me is sitting around here. Uh, definitely cannot initiate um, by himself. I wonder if he knows where Pugna is. It looks like he's just kind of sitting around the jungle for now. And mid lane, they are trying to push something out here to uh, stop this top lane push. And come with me is going to find himself Shadow Demon. Slardar is AFK or something. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, track gold coming out after the Shuriken toss. And he needs, or sorry, the Janata. No, it was a Shuriken toss. Yeah, it was back up now. All right, so there it goes. He finishes him off with a final right click. Now Slaughter has figured out what's going on. Amplified damage comes out. He can see him now. Uh, I don't know what that was. Was that, uh, I think that was the poison wearing off from Shadow Demon. But uh, Bounty Hunter has been revealed off, so he's going to have to back away. Ancient Apparition face it, finding himself Zeus. Zeus says, let's see, no, Zeus did finish him off. And now we have, where the heck, who is this? I'm missing someone. What just happened? Is that a, uh, that was an illusion, probably. <laughs> Not tracking an illusion. Wonderful. And come with me, dealing a lot, find, find, finding a bunch of farm. That's what he needs, and... Omni Knight coming in, and it looks like he's going to try to go for another fight. And here we go, Slidar blinking himself in, which is kind of strange. I don't usually see a blink dagger on him, but so much damage. He is much higher level, level 10 on Slardar, and that's going to be finished off by Nature's Prophet. There he goes. Uh, now come with me. He's caught up by Invoker, but he stick charges himself to try to save himself, Not unable to do so. And Invoker is now uh, doing pretty well in Nature Prophet catches, sprouts him off. Uh, Shadow Demon comes in from the side. Uh, gets a little debuff on him. And now, ooh, a lot of damage coming out for Pugna. And a final uh, Shadow Demon sends off his, his, uh, his poison. Finishing them off. Let me get the name of that right. Shadow Poison Release. Shadow, Shadow Poison Release, yeah. So that is able to deal a good amount of damage when you release it, especially at level 4. So it deals at least uh, 65 damage. Um, but you can multiply that by 4 each time uh, you get it on someone. But he's back in action. Level 16. Uh, almost level 17. Much higher than anyone else on the map. But they're still having problems. Now here we come, we got uh, so much damage, he's able to blink him down, that's what he needs to do. And even Sunstrike isn't able to scare him off. And yeah, Zeus is going to be coming in. He is probably out of position, probably shouldn't be here. He does have invis, but I don't know why he's going to want to try to... He's going to try to find himself Ancient Apparition or someone to uh, just blow everything on real quick, try to burst them down to nothing. And it looks like his team is going to be following him up. But the top lane is going to be pushed out by Come With Me. That Battle Fury working its way through the enemy creeps. And he is... I'm not sure what he's building now. Let me see what his Invoker... Oh, Invoker has finished off his Orchid Malevolence. So he is the only silence on their team now and it looks like Zeus's uh, Zeus's um, illusion is gonna find Omni Knight. Omni Knight probably figures out that that's an illusion it looks like Slardar is gonna be the target of come with me but yeah he's uh, a little bit fooled by this Zeus uh, illusion yeah, definitely a lot of it <laughs> sending off track gold on that Track gold is... How long is I cooldown on that thing? Five seconds. I really had no idea that was a five second cooldown. Let me just cast that off on the multiple people. So now he is going to be focused on bursted down. He regains tons of health from Omni Knight. Omni Knight is freaking irritating to play with. Uh, they're going to try to reveal him off, which they do. And Zeus is able to finish him off. Now Omni Knight is caught in the middle of this. And they lose a tower in the meantime. Uh, but he's going to be able to TP out. No, a stun, a bash. I think a bash took him out. And finally, Omni Knight goes down. So that's four down, but Nature's Prophet is there to uh, keep the pressure on and push down.
push in this tier 3 tower. Invoker now pushing in as well, leaving his forge spirits to uh, to deal with it as he goes back. And now they're going to be just regrouping. I haven't seen a lot of uh, I haven't seen too many ancient apparition blasts coming out. Uh, he should be using them a little bit more. Uh, he doesn't have anything to help him regain mana though, so probably that's why he has been more conservative about them. There goes one of them. Uh, he's searching, wants to find out if anyone is doing the Roshan pit, uh, which would be good information, especially if they were. And he's going to be counter warding, taking out that ward with that with the sentry ward he just placed down. But they still have this high ground one, uh, which is a very important, very important uh, ward if you can get it. This is also a great one too. You can see. Uh, you can get in a little bit of mid lane, you can see this whole area up here, making sure they're not trying to farm. Uh, try to get them when they're farming uh, Ancients. Looks like a team fight shaping up right now. They're pushing in. But they're just going, they're not going to be able to finish off the team fight. They're not going to engage. As I, as I surmised earlier, uh, they're not interested in fighting a full team fight against this lineup. Come with me is already level 17. He has 125 last hits, so he's doing well for himself. He is still the highest person on the map at level 18 now. And he's going to run away as soon as they come up. Uh, pushing this top lane, making them, distracting them. And now they can try to push in this middle lane. But they are, they know what's going on. The Dire know what's going on. Uh, so they are back here defending again. And Omni Knight is out of position. Shouldn't be there. Probably going to be getting away because he's Omni Knight. And the Ancient Apparition Blast hitting two of them. I don't think it didn't hit Pugna. Um, but it did hit Shadow Demon. He just cannot kill Omni Knight. It's absurd. Well, they did kill him earlier, but... You know. And here we go. Oh, nope. That's just Illusions. And here he is, bottom lane, farming it up. Farming it up. And they are not engaging. So this is an important uh, important tactic. When you know that you do not have the team fight, you do not want to just engage them. Uh, because you already know you're going to lose. So the best thing to do is this sort of turtling thing. They're playing the carrying game while uh, the other team's playing the pushing game. Uh, the push, the car pushing does beat carry. Um, so they're going to have to push in these lanes soon or else this uh, bounty hunter is going to get too big. And now Pugna is going to be found out and it looks like, yeah, he should be able to take him out really quickly. Just going to wait for the right opportunity. Ancient Apparition Blast coming in, and here he goes. That was the opportunity he was looking for, I guess. Wanted to make sure there was no one else around before he revealed himself. As he is extremely vulnerable. And they're going to find themselves... Omni Knight. He goes down. 3v1. And that is enough for him. Nature's Prophet has a Scythe of Vice already. And that is going to... Who's he going to try to take out with that Scythe of Vice? I think Zeus may be the one that they'll probably stun up like that, so he can't deal all of his tons of burst damage. Uh, they know where Come With Me is. They can see him. And he's going to TP himself out. And he's going to be able to... No, Disruption does not come off. Almost there. TPs himself bottom lane. Sorry, I'm a little fidgety. My back is really bothering me. But I'm going to finish this cast. Um, yeah, pushing out this, pushing it out when he can. Farm, farm, farm. That's what he needs to do. Um, he needs to keep, uh, keep them on their toes whenever he can. Um, make sure that they don't engage in huge team fights and just take out, um, any heroes he finds, uh, out of position like he did on Pugna. He has 167 last hits. 
30 minutes into the game. Waiting to see if he uh, finds anyone, see if he's safe to push in this lane. And now he's going to find himself Pugna. Smokes himself up. Waits for the creep wave to pass. And he's not going to engage. He's not going to be able to. Oh, wait. Pugna comes back in. And he's going to be able to do this right here. Looking for it. Looking for it. Here it is. One, two. Oh. Stick charge. No urn. I don't know what how you say it. Mech. He's got a lot of health coming back to him. Uh, Invoker has now back, but they cannot see him. <laughs> Courier, <laughs> a little further than it needs to go, but he does have his ulti orb. Uh, from that, i not sure. What, what do you want to build an ultimate orb on him? Mantha style? No, probably not. Lincoln Sphere? Maybe. Probably mi Lincoln Sphere. Lincoln Sphere will stop uh, the first, whatever, you know, Pugna's first spell. Anything they want to try to stun him with. And it looks like Zeus is almost dead, but wasn't able to be killed and finished off. Uh, now Omni Knight is looking pretty bad. Um, but again, really hard to kill an Omni Knight. And Slardar blinks himself in, which is weird. I just don't know why he has... Yeah. Now Zeus finishes off Omni Knight. He was low. But I don't know why he wants a blink dagger on Slardar when he already has this uh, pretty good, really good sprint. I guess he's been using both of it to uh, try to gank up as much as he can. Uh, he does get himself an Ancient Apparition though, so that is good. And it looks like Come With Me is almost able to take out Zeus, but not able to finish it off. They're trying to figure out where he is, but he's out before they know. And it looks like they're gonna he's going to find him one more toss, and that's going to finish him off. And now they... Yeah, so they as, as I said, they're going to lose all their main team fights. Um, their only chance is to try to gank one of them when they're out. It looks like Pugna, and uh, Pugna's going to be the one that they're going to look for most of the time. Nature's, Nature's Prophet buys back into the game to try to save it. Setting off his ultimate to deal with the creep wave. Now that gives them a couple more seconds, and then they're going to take out the uh, take out the ward. And the Dyer has to back off at this point, and Bounty Hunter is back to uh, help out. He has his BKB up, so he's going to be hard to. Uh, it's going to be hard to hit him. Now he's going into the Rashan pit. Looks like he's going to take himself for Rashan. Uh, get himself Ages of the Immortal, which is going to give him good amount of push. They'll probably put it on him, I would say, because he's the one in most danger most of the time. Uh, so, because he's the one out there pushing. And Invoker, they don't know this is going on, although Shadow Demon might find out soon enough. Uh, he is n doesn't look like he's checking. And they are just going to sit around and Invoker. Invoker has himself an illusion. So that's what he he's got illusion plus a uh, sword spirit st forge spirit and they do get it did they did they write they did give it to him and t yeah just so much damage able to come out from the bounty hunter really quickly uh shadow demon unable to do anything basically because he had the bkb up and they're gonna but invoker is going just his illusions they're gonna deal a lot of damage to uh, Ancient Apparition. That's going to be it though. He's not going to finish that off. Oh man, it looks like... Oh, what is, did he disconnect? When did he disconnect? Yeah, he'll, he'll be back. And we got uh, the level 23 on Bounty Hunter. So he is way over leveled than everyone else. He is going to be able to carry this if uh, he can continue to make these ganks. He continue to push. He's at 189 last hits. They're going to try to push in mid lane. Maybe they realize what's going on and realize that they need to push and take down this tower. Uh, they're not going to, as, 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 as was their strategy the entire time, they aren't going to try and take this full team fight. It's going to let them push in. Waste time until they get to their tower, and Bounty Hunter is pushed it pushed up. 
Shadow Demon needs to come back to defend. And now they have to deal with that lane. Well, Bounty Hunter is now looking around. Here he's going to find himself a... No, he's... Where the heck did he go? He bought himself. Finished off his Manta style. Just giving him even more ganking power. Not even... Yeah, here he's p popping it off for the Invoker. And that finishes Invoker off. Now, uh, they, they must know how powerful Bounty Hunter is. They see him here, and they gonna want to go on him, but he's got the rest of his team with him now, so now they're gonna, now they're ready to engage in team fights, um, because, uh, Come With Me is so huge. He's so huge that they're able to, uh, they're able to deal with him. And here we go, we got a lot, oh, tons of damage going off from Zeus. And he's going to be disrupted, and that's going to be not too much of a problem. Uh, purification f uh, heals him up, and now he's going to try to get off a gank. Uh, come with me is unstoppable. Took out Shadow Demon. I didn't even see that. Uh, BKB popped off, and he's going to deal, finish, try to finish off uh, Slardar, but Ancient Apparition gets it. Track old coming out onto Zeus. They find themselves, they find themselves a Pugna, and he finishes him off. That freaking, <laughs> the freaking. Uh, Freaking Omni Knight saving the day. He would have certainly gone down if it weren't for Omni Knight. It even gets the last hit on the tower. And that's a uh, let's see. That just leaves that just leaves Invoker for the next 40 seconds. They don't. No buyback. No buyback. No buyback. No buyback. So they're not going to be able to defend this one. I don't think Invoker is going to try to go in. He's just going to try to push him back, and Bounty Hunter is low health. That tower damage is a lot. Uh, not really afraid of it, he's looking like... Oh, he has the Aegis, that's why he's not afraid of it. I forgot about that. Purification from Omni Knight uh, is able to help him out, and he finds himself Invoker. Invoker is going to be right-click down. Shuriken Toss again, and now he track gold again. Uh, now, come with me, goes down. One more right-click on Invoker is needed, but... Omni Knight is finished off. They're definitely uh, further than they need to be, but so much damage. Finishing off Slardar, Borrow Strike in, right click finished off. Uh, nope, that was Nature's Prophet, I think. I don't even know. Here we go. We got it coming. <laughs> He's still here. He's not leaving. Uh, Nature's Prophet goes down to Invoker. Now, Come With Me is back inside. Uh, getting a lot of damage, taking a lot of damage right now. Needs to get away, and he's going to be able he's going to get an earned charge from uh from sand king and push himself away so weren't able to get the racks that they were looking for on that push but sand king is now caught out burrow strike in to turn him turn around and stun but uh decrepify hits off first slowing him down too much he's going to pull himself in viz surprised they haven't figured out how to deal with this yet uh they should be you know they should be carrying a bunch of uh stuff to reveal off invis heroes with them uh nature's prophet is looking pretty bad he's got an urn charge on him and zeus finishes him off come with me is back though finishes off both Ur uh zeus and shadow demon and no no one else so he now has a sacred relic what do you build with the sacred relic what do you build with the sacred relic what do you build a sacred relic? Divine Rapier. That's what he's going for. You cannot stop the Divine Rapier. Divine. Divine. Is it? There is it. There it is. Divine Rapier. He is not anticipating dying. What did he say? Pugna. GG Pugna for worst hero possible. I just don't like him. Yeah, why'd you play him then? Maybe you should uh, just realize... I mean, Pugna's not bad. It, usefulness is short-lived. Yeah, you do have to get him, get him good uh, in the early game. Um, but they just... What their problem was was not that Pugna is not a good hero, was not a good pick. It's just that they didn't stop Come With Me. They let him do whatever he needed to do. I mean, he has Divine Ray... The Divine Rapier now is going to be dealing a ton of damage. He misses. Oh, they know they do get uh, the defeat. Yeah, I'm going to screw that. Uh, just going to be all right. So now three clicks, and there goes um, Pugna. 
come with me pulling through the pulling through the sprouts to deal damage and finish off uh, Slardar. Now he's tracking Ursa. Ursa needs. Ooh, he's very close to dying. Come on, there he goes. A thousand two hundred thirteen twenty damage um, from his. Yeah, he's getting about thirteen k damage with each um, each Janata. That is a lot of damage. Not sure what they're debating now. Let's see. What are they debating? And SK in this game. What about SK? Yeah. I mean, SK didn't have anything that he could do since they weren't going to be engaging in team fight. Um, so I guess he... I, I really didn't watch too much of SK, but... Um, he was able to stop with, like, the early game. Was able to pull them off, which was nice. But, uh... Yeah, he didn't have too much usefulness. Omni Knight and Nature's Prophet were probably the most useful. I would argue Ancient Apparition didn't do a whole lot, but that is... I can't even see. That's a Nature's Prophet. He's going to go down to Invoker, who has just so many illusions. Able to trap you in, plus a Necronomicon. So he has just a ton of units. Um, but it doesn't really matter, because now they have Mega Creeps. Or Super Mega Creeps, as I should say. Yeah, without <laughs> as as you can see, like without uh, without come with me, they don't have a team fight. They don't have anything to stand on. But come with me can take one hit and take out Invoker. I, I sorry, one, one hit, but you know, just so much damage from him. Uh, what does he have now? He has two divine rapiers. So psh, there's nothing you can do. What can you do? Was that just a one hit kill? Or was that all right? Hold on. Where is Zeus here? Ah, uh, it doesn't give me his full hit points. I think that was a one-hit kill. Anywho's. And that's what happens when you let Come With Me do what he wants. I think I watched, yeah, I did a uh, Lycan game with Come With Me, and he did the same exact thing. For stabbing him around the corner. For some reason. And the uh, barracks goes down. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if uh, you're in a situation where you just can't win the team fight and you got someone that can do the farm and finish off the team, uh, can get up uh, way above. Let's see, frog. Oh, nice. They're yes, items. So many items. Wish my games gave me that many items. Um, yeah, if you have someone that can just get such high level and deal so much damage. Uh, that you can just get that farm uh, that 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 can save you uh, if you're careful and if you do it carefully like they did. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will see you guys later.